And honoring the victims of gang violence through a holiday festival. Today, students from a number of local high schools and community groups gathered at a Dia de los Muertos celebration in Midtown Sacramento, calling for an end to gang violence altogether. And Fox 40's Doug Johnson has more on that. Among the Dia de los Muertos decorations and altars for relatives who died of natural causes, are the photos of those who were less fortunate. We have Charles Minor, Shardy, all these young guys who got killed. Killed by gang violence. By kids, gang related, or drive-by shootings. Throughout the day Saturday, the booths at the street fair on Jay and 20th were viewed by hundreds passing by. So this is, creates a big, perfect platform for us to continue to advocate the end of gang violence. Jose Verdon is a student mentor with Brown Issues at McClatchy High School. And one of our, our members from Brown Issues actually was gunned down a couple streets uh, from here. Sometimes I, I reminisce of, you know, what if what would have happened if he was still here? In honor of their deceased colleague, Verdon and his students put up this display of skulls, each representing a teen who was killed by gang violence in Sacramento County over the past 10 years. There are 117. It's pretty sad that once you see them, you're like, that's another youth that could like that was helping. And the event is a chance for Verdon students to interact with other community activist groups like Margot Santana's community mothers of 95838. Right now, the streets of Sacramento is really out of control. There's too many loved ones being killed. The gun violence is very high. According to the Sacramento County Coroner's Office, 85% of teen homicide victims over the last decade were either black or Latino. That's a big reason why Santana believes those two communities need to work together to find a solution. We all here for the same reason. We all want for peace. We all want the gun violence to stop, and we all out here to scratch each other back and share resources. In Sacramento, Doug Johnson, Fox 40 News. Now, most local police departments and sheriff's offices worked with the DEA today.